Welcome to Mental Health Monday, brought to you by Scrotum Fresh. Every time I think, welcome to Mental Health Monday, always Scrotum Fresh. So maybe we just have to make a product called Scrotum Fresh. I don't know how it would work. Maybe that's how real marketers of products that are shit do their jobs. They go, we just got a name for a product. What does it do? I don't know. Let's create a problem. Then once we've created the problem, then we can sell the problem and our solution product is Scrotum Fresh. But we first have to create a, a disease, an illness, uh, maybe something along the lines of uh, ball sack fumes. Do you or someone you love have a case of ball sack fumes? Well, you've got to buy yourself some mad Arab industries. Scrotum fresh. It's definitely not how the world works. I've had the camera set me back like three to four times, a couple of times, and I'm just a little bit sick of it. The desk is a mess, as you can see, but the books still look nice. I'm very well informed. I know a lot of things about stuff. Terry Pratchett's High Fantasy, Harry Potter, and oh, that gym session yesterday. Anyway, a recurring theme that I've had over the last 24 hours since we had the announcement that Hamilton is going back into lockdown or level three, lockdown and chips. You can choose to get angry and I honestly think that that's part of the game. It's just like to piss people off and to coerce them into doing things that might not be in their best interest, but that's a story for another time. It's okay to be pissed off about this. Letting the perpetrator, let's say, that makes you angry, letting that person actually make you angry and govern how you feel does not hurt them, it hurts you. Not giving in to to the emotions that you're meant to be feeling or you've been forced to feel. You disempower the perpetrator that is making you feel that way because something that should make you angry or should make you afraid doesn't affect you like that. You've just disempowered that force. So hopefully I'm not speaking too cryptically. Basically what I'm trying to get is they can lock down your body and they cannot lock down your mind, your heart or your spirit unless you let them. Those are your choices, not theirs. Regardless of who you're angry at or who you're sad at or whatever the source of your negative emotion, the only person that carries that negative emotion is you. And ultimately, you need to ask yourself the question, can I channel this anger into something useful? Or am I just letting it destroy me? Is that emotion serving me? Tactical wardrobe change and new location. Just like how depression is a damn dirty liar that messes with your head. I need to remind you that fear does the same thing. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total oblivion. So don't be afraid, my friend. Embrace the absurdity of the situation, and I'll see you again next time.